Hey everyone, welcome back to BCB Canada. If you've been following our series on video funnel marketing, you know we're all about delivering value. Today we're diving into the retention stage and the magic of explainer videos in video funnel marketing. So let's get started. Your sales funnel doesn't end when you make a sale. It's important that you also create video content to keep those customers engaged and happy with your business. This involves periodically checking in and following up with customers to make sure they're satisfied with their purchase to prevent negative reviews, but it's also an important phase because it allows you to figure out what your next move should be. For example, by following up with current customers, you'll better understand your own products or services. Being open to feedback will help strengthen your brand and improve your offerings, but involving your customer base in the process will also go the distance in maintaining positive relationships with your audience. In turn, you'll be able to transform current customers into brand advocates. You can accomplish this by creating surveys, asking for direct feedback through polls or forms, as well as asking for requests for future updates or upgrades. And if you aren't sure what other kinds of videos to create in the retention stage, just ask your audience. Find out what they need extra help with that a video could explain or include videos in surveys and instruction guides to better serve your customers. Perhaps there's an area that you've overlooked when creating the instructional videos for your product. Or maybe a segment of your customer base is struggling to understand a key function. The only way to know is to ask. Videos are also extremely effective when they're part of retention offers. If your product is one that includes optional upgrades, you can motivate current customers into purchasing additional add-ons with a series of videos that highlight the added features. The key is to demonstrate to existing customers that you want them to succeed while also continuing to bring new revenue into your business. You can do this by creating a series of videos geared towards getting existing customers excited about any available add-ons, upgrades, or other resources that will further enhance their experience using your products. Videos are also an excellent re-engagement tool. If you've noticed that customers haven't been using your product as often, or perhaps they've simply lost interest, a series of follow-up videos can help you reconnect with your audience and get them excited about your business again. Finally, consider creating a thank you video. They're highly effective at signifying to new customers that you truly appreciate their business, but they can do even more for your brand. Creating a thank you video can also make people feel special. Since not every brand sends out a thank you video, they can help you stand out. Since thank you videos aren't trying to sell anything, they go the distance in building customer loyalty. They paint your brand in the best light possible and highlight your commitment to your customer base. Thank you videos encourage repeat sales. You never want to try to sell anything in a thank you video, but by sending out a short clip that shows your gratitude for their business, you'll passively encourage customers to become brand advocates for your business which will result in repeat business. It's a win-win scenario. Okay, now that we have a firm understanding of the importance of thank you videos, it's time to move on to explainer videos. Explainer videos are short videos that explain a product or service in simple terms. They're usually animated and accompanied by a voiceover. Rather than a long and in-depth demonstration of your product, explainer videos usually act as a pitch for your product. This is why they're most often found on a business's lead page. A high-quality explainer video can greatly increase sales, but it can also cost you a lot of money when done incorrectly. Here are some steps to follow to make sure your efforts don't go to waste. Find out why your leads aren't converting. This is a key bit of information that can take an explainer video from good to great. Knowing why your leads aren't converting will tell you exactly what you must address in your explainer video. Additionally, you can survey your customers for other information that will inform the content of your explainer video. Here are some questions you can ask your customers. What information is missing from this page? Do you have any concerns about this product? And what do you think this product does? For the explainer video, you could and maybe you should write your own script. Some companies that produce explainer videos also offer script writing. It might be tempting to let the video company handle everything but they don't know your business the same way you do. And no one knows your customers as well as you. Your script should show the benefits of your product and address any shortcomings you discovered when you surveyed your customers. 
If you're unsure about how to write a script, you can follow this sequence of questions to help you write your first draft. 1. What does your company do? 2. What problems do your customers face? 3. What features does your product have? 4. How does your product solve your customer's problem? 5. How does your call to action address concerns, doubts, and objections? And 6. Why should customers trust you? What social proof do you have? This first version of your script might be rough around the edges, which is completely normal. When you go back to revise your script, pay attention to flow and keep in mind that it should only be around 300 words long, which works out to around two minutes. Next, you may need to hire a voiceover artist. A voiceover artist will bring your script to life. Remember when you start hiring, don't forget to specify the type of voice you're looking for, so consider gender, age, and accent. A good voiceover for a short two-minute script could cost a few hundred dollars at most. And then you need to optimize your video. It's always good practice to conduct A-B testing for explainer videos on your website because you can track video engagement and conversion statistics. This is also the only way to know with certainty what is working and what isn't which allows you to make the necessary improvements without any guesswork involved. Make good use of video marketing on YouTube. While there are a lot of channels and distribution networks that make it easy for you to upload and share videos, YouTube should always be one of your top marketing strategies. Okay, I'm pretty sure you're asking the question why YouTube and the answer is simple, because YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. People in the early stages of the buyer's journey are naturally drawn to YouTube as they try to learn more about their problems and challenges. Then, as they move further into the funnel, they are starting to look for specific solutions. This is why YouTube is such a great opportunity to build awareness for your brand while prospects are in the early stages. Like any other social media platform, you need a strategy in place so that your videos stand out. So here are some things to keep in mind when you start creating videos for YouTube. Use search engine optimization or SEO tactics to rank on YouTube and Google. YouTube uses keywords and engagement metrics to calculate the rank of your video, such as how relevant your video is for any given search query. Some video-based keywords that usually rank well on YouTube and Google are how-to, tutorial, and review. Long tail keywords are also a good strategy if you're struggling to rank in short tail keywords, and you should aim for long tail keywords that get at least 300 searches per month. You can use a tool like Google's Keyword Planner or Ahrefs to help you manage and discover keywords. Once you've got your keywords down, it's time to use them. The title of your video should contain your keyword at the beginning of the title and be at least five words long. Besides the title, the description of your video is an underrated opportunity to improve your SEO. While we would never recommend keyword stuffing, the description box lets you include a large amount of text that does contribute to SEO and you'll want to make sure to use every available space. Here are some pointers when writing your video description. Include a relevant link to your website at the top of your description and use the keyword in your title within the first 25 words of your description. Write a description of at least 250 words and use your keyword three to four times throughout the description. YouTube also uses metrics to gauge the quality of your video, so keep an eye on things like video retention, comments, favorites, shares, and new subscribers. If you notice that your metrics aren't doing well, you should focus on the overall content and style of your videos. Production quality is incredibly important on YouTube because users aren't passively scrolling through videos to kill time. Rather, they've intentionally clicked on the videos they want to watch. Now, it's perfectly fine to start small and scale your production quality as your YouTube grows. As you find your footing, you could invest in new gear to improve the quality of your videos, like image resolution, steadiness, audio clarity, and so on. Besides hardware, here are some other things to keep in mind while creating videos for YouTube. Use storytelling, narrative, plot, or characters to make boring topics interesting. Use storyboarding to plan complex shots and scenes. Provide comprehensive and accurate subtitles. Use a clear thumbnail with a close-up of an expressive face. And lastly, use YouTube's analytics suite to optimize your videos and marketing strategy. 
Well, that's a wrap for this segment, and thanks for tuning into another insightful session with BCB Canada on Video Funnel Marketing. Your support means everything to us. If you found value in today's segment, please give us a thumbs up, share with friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more valuable insights. Until next time, keep mastering the art of video.